The Big Ten regular season coming to a conclusion for the Wisconsin Badgers. A couple of road games in recent days, Tuesday night at Purdue, and then a Sunday matchup against Iowa down at Carver Hawkeye Arena. Next up, the Big Ten tournament. It was a different kind of senior day, but we'll get Coach Guard's thoughts on the class of seven Badgers who are seniors. We'll also check in with assistant coach Alondo Tucker, all coming up on today's edition of the Badger Sports Report. Kills the dribble, needs some help, but the pass goes through Aaron Wheeler and is taken away by Jonathan Davis to the line, down the lane, to the rim, layup good. Davis the steal and the bucket, and the Badgers lead 40 to 39. 325 to play, 63 59 Purdue. Trice whips at the potter, bobbles, gathers, feeds Davison for three, right side, money. Brad Davison for three. 63 62 Purdue with 313 remaining. Five to shoot. Price off the wing. Hanging. Beats Potter. Down the lane. Slam dunk. Counted. And a foul. Badgers move from the field house to the final four. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Kendrick Bryan. Oh! Price Potter. Oh, big call. The Badger Sports Report is presented by UW Health. UW Health Sports Medicine, the healthcare team for the Badgers. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. When you've been injured, you need the hometown team on your side. Trust us to get you back in the game. Call Wisconsin's own Gruber Lofts, proud partner of Wisconsin Badger Athletics. One call, that's all. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. WEABenefits.com. Some see a grilled cheese sandwich and ask why. I see a new kitchen with a grill and ask, why not? I really need to start adding less to cart and more to savings. Sitting on this couch so long made me want to make some changes, starting with this couch. Yeah, I need a house with a different view. And this is the bank that will help you do it all. Because at U.S. Bank, our people are dedicated to turning your new inspiration into your next pursuit. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Oh, yeah. Sweet. With great deals, get ready to turn your dreams into reality. Hurry in, because right now, you can get $1,500 customer cash on a spacious new 2021 Highlander or Highlander Hybrid. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Injured? You need a team you can trust. Call Gruber Law Offices today, serving the people of Wisconsin for over 30 years. Gruber Lofts, a proud partner of Wisconsin Badger Athletics. One call, that's all. Behind Holloway, over his stick, and out to center. Badgers will try again. 25 seconds left here in the period. Wisconsin's down one nothing. Holloway, Felton Bice, stick handling, and picked up by Weisbach. Looks backside, Caulfield with it, shoots it, scores! Holy water bottle, that one! Just an absolute snipe from Caulfield on the power play. It's 1-1. Today, 33 saves, loose puck, here's the air, Cole Caulfield, he scores from Holloway behind the net. Caulfield came off the bench and a battle behind the cage. Holloway was knocked down, but Caulfield sprung right in front of the net and got the feed from Holloway and made no mistake about it. It's 2-1. I, I mean, I yelled for it, but, you um, know, it's a really scope play to even get that puck, and he was falling and uh, put it right on my tape, so... Um, you know, it looks easy on the video, but it's a really skilled play, and it's something that, uh, you know, comes easy for a guy like that. Breakout pass to Joshua, hands off to Papp, can't get past Kerr, and then Holloway mishandled, Luke out, here's a chance here, Cameron Rowe with a diving glove save on Nodler from 10 feet out. Extra attacker for Michigan State, Wisconsin leads 2-1, set up Nodler, slump save made by Rowe, low left circle, Josh Dobler had a 
chance, and Rowe reached out with his left hand and gloved it for a face-off with 82 seconds to play, and the Badgers leading 2-1. Tracking the puck really comes down to just being able to read the play and knowing hockey, you know, and I think that that's really all it comes down to. Um, you know, having a quick glove is obviously something that's good, but it, it's just one of those things, too, where, like, working on six saves or rebound controlling your block or anything like that, if you just work on tracking the puck in and focusing on the little details that's specific to that, you're going to see uh, rewards from that. Puck is dropped. Holloway leans into APAP. Michigan State wins the draw, though. Neenhouse shot fake. Out high, Sasana. His shot blocked away by Holloway. Ricocheted to the corner. Four seconds left. Holloway pins it against the corner wall. And the Wisconsin Badgers have won the Big Ten regular season championship. Cameron Rowe being mobbed by his teammates to our left. In a season filled with challenges and pandemic protocols, playing in near empty arenas, of family and friends, Tony Granado's squad stayed together, played for each other, and today the Wisconsin Badgers can celebrate a Big Ten championship. Uh, our team, from a, a player standpoint, a personnel standpoint, um, last year they took personal, um, but they also, um, you know, made a decision to learn from what happened last year and try to make themselves better from it as a group as in, and as individuals. Get ready for more. Introducing High V Plus. Get a High V Plus premium membership for just $99 a year and get fuel savings every time you shop in store and online. Plus, exclusive deals and offers every month. Plus, you can call our Red Line Hotline day or night for anything you need. Plus, free standard delivery and free express pickup, plus a personal online shopper. With hy V Plus, our plus equals more. Sign up today. You've heard the saying, if it looks like bacon and it tastes like sausage, it's probably Johnsonville sausage strips. Oh, you never heard that? Well, sausage strips are pretty new. They're strips of sausage in amazing flavors like maple and chorizo. You can find this meaty miracle by the bacon, even though it's sausage. Whoa. I think, you know, we look up after the last home game, Greg, and there's always a lot of emotions. There's senior day. And I think this year, not knowing if there was going to be a home schedule, period. And, you know, obviously it's been different. No fans and... You know, the crew has done the best best job possible with the fake crowd noise and the music and all of that. But I know it's been different, and I know, you know we talked about it before the game on, on last Saturday. Uh, we could take some things for granted, but boy, never never the fan base. I know you speak for right. that, but imagine you can't wait for that day when they can come back in and support Yeah, them. yeah, there's, there's no doubt, Matt. This has been, obviously, there's been a lot of challenges that have come with this season, but... Uh, yeah, not having the fans here, obviously, in that interaction and the, just the, the, the jolt they give our team, the lift they give our team, just such a huge part of our student-athletes experience uh, in so many ways um, that to not have that, and, and obviously you, you mentioned senior day and those type of things that uh, you had to do it at a distance with parents and not having you know uh, any fans in here at all to send these seniors out the door and thank them for all they've done. Um, it, it obviously has been been challenging, um, but we'll look forward to that day when we can, you know, have seats back or people back in the seats and and have it loud again here in the call center. And it's good to know, and it's, we can't predict the future here. But I know Barry Alvarez has mentioned that the athletics director Chris McIntosh, Chris McIntosh, the deputy AD, you're planning for full facilities and then you adjust as needed. But just the to hear the words planning for full facilities brings a smile to some people's faces, I would imagine. Yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, obviously, the, the uh, absence of fans has been felt uh, far and wide, and, and not only at our university, but at other places, too. But, yeah, that will be – hopefully we can be at a point in time. I think none of us probably anticipated this pandemic, so to speak, and, and the ripple effect, the domino effect in so many ways that it's had to last this long. Um, you know, I thought probably when this started almost a year ago um, that, you know, we'd be maybe back to normal by the summer or the fall. Um, but obviously here we are a year later and and we've seen what we've had to walk through. So hopefully normal or or a sense of normalcy is coming here sooner than later. 
We'll hear from assistant coach Alondo Tucker a bit uh, later on the, on the television side here. And, but uh, uh, there was that snapshot taken at senior day with your, the senior players, the senior managers. I would imagine they can have quite a story for the kids, the grandkids. Um, I know there's still a lot to be written this year, but my goodness, what they have done to just be on the floor here right. this season right. says yeah. something. Yeah, this is something obviously no one's ever gone through before. So uh, they'll have obviously these experiences they're going to take with them good, bad, and, and everything in between, uh, they're going to take with them for the, obviously the rest of their lives. But this will be, this is, uh, you know, at the top of the list in terms of memorable, just because of all the things that have been out of the norm. And just so thankful for having an opportunity, as I've mentioned before, when I've talked to you, there were days in September and October that there was a lot of doubt whether we were going to have a season or not. And, and, and obviously to be able to get darn near a full season, uh, obviously, we cut it a, a few games short nationally, um, but to be able to get this much out of it, I don't think it, with what was going on in September and October, I'm not sure we would have envisioned it having this much, but thankfully we have, and thankfully we've come through it, you know, healthy, and hopefully we can keep going forward healthy. It's always, it's a stock question, especially now, given what everybody is going through, but I, I'm curious, Greg, with every senior class or, you know, a, a junior who declares pro like Sam did a few years ago, we can look at all the statistics. Uh, you know, they did this, they won this many games, this many championships. But uh, would I be right in thinking that as you as a coach look back, it goes a heck of a lot deeper than the win-loss record. It just, it's the memories, maybe the little things that just are part of the day-to-day -day operation of, of being a part of a basketball team. Yeah, and there's no doubt with this group because there's, you know, there's everybody has come kind of come their own journey. They, you know, very only Nate and Brad came in as a true freshman or a freshman together. Obviously, Aleem and, and uh, Dimitri came in. Um, you know, obviously, they had red shirts at different times. Uh, Meech had an injury. You have Micah and Trevor transfer in. Um, obviously, Walt's a walk on. So, uh, you know, you have. Uh, you know, everybody's come kind of their own different path and, and to be able to come here and unite and, and uh, have a lot of success is something they'll take with them. And, and those relationships and those friendships from, you know, this day forward or whenever they're done, uh, that's going to carry on. There'll be a last game, but there won't be a last, you know, relationship or a last time you'll be with some of these guys will be friends for a lot of these guys are going to be in Micah's wedding coming up here in June. So um, that's that's the neat part that you love to see as a coach. Yeah, there's that the real life part that you mentioned with Micah and every player on this class either has a degree or multiple or is on pace to get one in May. That is right. no small thing. And people in my industry overlook that too much. I know you guys don't. Yeah, we, like you mentioned, we, well, four of them are in grad school. So, you know, that in itself is an accomplishment in terms of you've already wrapped up in your career, your undergrad, and now you're you're working towards your your master's degree. So. Like I said, just a huge credit to our guys. Um, I can't give them enough credit nor thank them enough for all the commitment, time, and sacrifice they've given to to this program, to this university. And they've definitely, we have a little saying that leave your jersey in a better place. And they've definitely done that. They've made a, a very positive impact on this program. Yeah, well said. And also the best part is you have touched on in, the, in recent days, there are still some chapters to be written. We'll see how long uh, this postseason run can go here for the Badgers. We'll take a break and we'll have more to come as we continue with this week's edition of the Badgers Sports Report. If we build this, all the legendary players will magically appear and we'll have sports again. I call it the field of fame. Of course, I'll have to tear down the garage, fill in the pool, and lose the trees. So can I get a loan? So as your friend, I love it. But as your banker, not so much. Let me talk to the friend. You could always invest in a college fund. No, my kids aren't going to college. They're going to work at the stadium. Our kids are going to college. Sports are back. My wife wants to build a college. And not a moment too soon. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Yeah. Oh, yeah. With great deals, get ready to turn your dreams into reality. Hurry in, because right now, you can get $1,500 customer cash on a spacious new 2021 Highlander or Highlander Hybrid. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. 
Well, in a lot of ways, we probably say this every year, but in a lot of ways, it's hard to believe that the home schedule has come to an end. The Badgers winding down the regular season and looking forward to postseason play, but it's also a good time for us to catch up with Badgers assistant coach Alondo Tucker, obviously one of the all-time greats to wear a Badger uniform, uh, all-time leading scorer, and so much more than that, I might add. But uh, one of the things, Tuck, that we've noticed about you as a coach, we noticed this with you as a player too, but as a coach, I mean, obviously you work on, on techniques. You get guys to understand scouting reports. If there's a fundamental flaw with their shooting touch, you work on that. But it, it strikes us, and when I say I'll talk about myself and Mike Lucas, that you are a confidence coach too. I mean, you are the animated guy on the on the bench and, and at the practice floor. It seems like an important part uh, of what you do is just making sure that they're the guys have their confidence at as high a level as possible. Are we seeing that right? Yeah, yeah, you're you're right on it. Um, and to kind of like follow that is just as a player, um, that's what you want, right? That's what you need. You need that confidence because if you look across the board. Um, nobody's really reinventing the wheel of basketball. It's the guys who have the most confidence to make the shots, the X's and O's, because you can draw X and O. But then what happens? Like, I put you in that position, you got to have the confidence to know that you can knock it down. And so I I'd say even from going from the level, of, if you go levels, you think of when you first start high school, you can play on your team, and then the next step up is a big boost in your confidence. You have to have great confidence to play on this level. What separates from pros from amateurs or, or collegiate players is, their confidence is on the highest level. Now, you, of course, you get the best of the best, but their confidence is at the highest level. Everybody's working in a weight room. Everybody's running a similar thing. It's how you feel about your shot. And when coaches can exude that or project that into you or radiate that or try to have that permeate through, through the team, um, that's what, you know, that's what this game needs. A, a guy that we are watching grow, kind of like the way we watched you grow in your freshman year. And I don't want to compare because you are you and Jonathan Davis is Jonathan Davis. But you see a guy like him, uh, Alondo, and, and, and I think Coach Gard has said that, that he's really just scratching the surface of how good he can be. Uh, but you got to love what you're seeing, I would think, out of this young guy, what, what he's done for you guys so far. Yes, he has unlimited raw potential. Right. It's a it's a rawness to the game that it is. It's it's raw. It's unpolished right now. And we get flashes of it every once in a while. You see that flash of potential of where you see see his ceiling can go. Um, and and with that is creating that consistency. Right. Moving forward, how you grow from your fresh mirror to next is creating that consistency. But, yeah, he's got some things that you can't teach. Right. You know, you take it. And that's what it's called. The, and then what kind of. You have that and then what game? And what I mean by that is when I said it earlier, you draw X's and O's and then what? When teams take it away and then what? You got to have instinct, natural instinct. And he have that. He has that natural feel, that natural instinct to go past when someone takes away um, what you do great. Um, and it, it was perfect example is Northwestern. You know, he drives right, counters left, goes up and a, a help side defense grabs his left arm. He jumps and catches the ball, switches it and one. Those are some of the abilities that I think can be comparable to myself being able to play, being tough, fearless out there. But, you know, he has raw potential that, you know, as he start ironing out that kind of that uh, repetitiveness to continue, continuously grow and build on it. He's, he's special. Is it true, uh, Coach Tuck, that he he questioned your ability to get up in the air? I heard you do an interview earlier in the week, and he was saying, oh, I, he had a hard time thinking that you could get up the way you could get up in your career. That That's just wrong. If that, did, did, he, did he question you about that? A, and listen, there. so I'm so competitive, and when I get out there, I'm challenging these guys. I think they're just always trying to poke at me, but he did. I don't think sometimes they see that I'm grounded now. I'm shooting a lot more threes, and they – they like, you couldn't get up. One of the guys questioned my ability to windmill or, or, or throw it through my legs and dunk, and I was telling them, and, and they questioned, said, nah, you couldn't do it. And uh, Coach Kravinov or, you know, some guys that, you know, Coach Gard, they'll step in and say, you guys must don't realize it. Who Like what he did, what he made a name of himself by doing, and it, most of it was jumping and being above the rim. So sometimes, sometimes you got to give them a reality check. I got to got to hit them in the gut with a reality check. Yeah, we have to show those young fellas some of those still photos of you at the Metrodome against Kentucky, uh, dunking on the entire Pitt Panthers team. Uh, let, let me take you back. Uh, oh. Is there one 
uh, you probably have been asked this before, but is there one moment, one dunk? I mean, we all saw the, the dunk in the NBA here earlier in the week. Is there one in your career at Wisconsin? Like if you were to say, show me what you can do. Do you have a go-to dunk that you pull up? Man, I, I try to, I think the, so I have so many moments and it kind of switches like my favorite moment every time because it's just when it pops in my head. So I, I often talk about my freshman year, my very first start, because that's something you remember and having 24 and 18. Um, you talk about the, the, the still shot of the photo freshman year in the NCAA tournament, Sweet 16 against Kentucky. Those are things that you always, as a kid, you want to be able to do. I want to play in the NCAA tournament and be on, and to be on the biggest stage and then have a, a photo of the moment um, major. Um, playing in the Elite Eight versus North Carolina. That year they went to take it. I remember catching the alley -oop. Sean May, I was, I think it was ESPN article, was Centerfold, when you open it up, it had me like coming down, spread, you know, arms spread, like moments like that. But one of the moments we talk about was probably I was getting challenged versus Northwestern. Joe brought this story up. Howard would always talk about the story. I was getting challenged as a, my leadership, my, we were losing the game and, and a lot of pressure was on me. So coach Ryan was challenging me and I just, as a dunk specifically, uh, I remember just sitting there taking it all and just staring them in the eye, letting it, absorbing it. The very next play, I get the ball, you know, in front of our bench and I rip baseline. Joe said, I'm coming through on a swing cut and you just take off flying. I didn't know where you came from and I'm taking off and I felt like I was parallel to the sky and I was, I didn't care who was under me. I was going to dunk that ball. And I just remember dunking it and everybody was going crazy. And I was just staring at our bench with a fire coming from my eyes. Like, how dare you talk to me like that? You know, it's kind of one of those moments. But that dunk stood out because I guess everything that led up to the moment, and after that, I just I sparked our whole, whole team. Um, but that's like a moment that stands out like at this point in time. Yeah, I do you have some young guys on this team? Can Johnny can have? Does he have a little bit of that in him? You see, see some of the young guys who they may not show it. They may have the poker face, but you challenge them, and, and they're going to come after you. Yeah, we have. I mean, our young guys, we have. Right now, the, the um, fans get to see Johnny. He's playing the most. But we got some, you know, Steven Krause made some jumps. He, he doesn't back down from a challenge, right? You got, um, uh, you got Gilly. So we got Gilmore, Carter Gilmore. That's, I mean, he, he steps up. He plays on the scout team. Every team's, every opposing team's one of their best players. He's, he's in that role, right? Him and, um, him and Steven. And itself, they don't back down from the, the, the starting five and, and the other reserves, right? The the top eight team, like they don't back down at all. So you see some of that fire from them. Um, they have the ability and as you gain with experience. So right now, Johnny's getting the most experience. But, you know, I just I can't wait for the fans to see that whole core group. Yeah, that's an exciting group and obviously uh, an exciting group of older guys, too, with a chance to write a terrific final chapter here this season. Uh, Coach, we appreciate your time as always, man. Good luck the rest of the way. Oh, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Anytime for you. Uh, Orlando Tucker, one of the all-time greats. I'm not just talking about basketball either. One of the all-time great people and a very integral part of Coach Guard's coaching staff. Stay with us. More to come as we continue with the Badger Sports Report. Some see a grilled cheese sandwich and ask why. I see a new kitchen with a grill and ask, why not? I really need to start adding less to cart and more to savings. Sitting on this couch so long made me want to make some changes, starting with this couch. Yeah, I need a house with a different view. And this is the bank that will help you do it all. Because at U.S. Bank, our people are dedicated to turning your new inspiration into your next pursuit. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. WEABenefits.com. The Badger Sports Report is presented by UW Health. UW Health Sports Medicine, the healthcare team for the Badgers. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. With the regular season down, up next, the Big Ten Conference Tournament this year at Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis with limited folks uh, obviously in the facility, but still a chance to continue the season as teams continue to push forward 
in search of a trophy and then obviously for the Badgers what lies ahead after the Big Ten tournament we'll get you caught up on how the Badgers fare down in Indianapolis on next week's edition of the Badgers Sports Report thanks for watching Get ready for more. Introducing hy V Plus. Get a hy V Plus premium membership for just $99 a year and get fuel savings every time you shop in-store and online. Plus, exclusive deals and offers every month. Plus, you can call our Redline hotline day or night for anything you need. Plus, free standard delivery and free express pickup. Plus, a personal online shopper. With hy V Plus, our plus equals more. Sign up today. Compeer Financial has always been there for our clients and communities in any situation. And our support continues today as our clients work relentlessly to feed, clothe, and fuel the world. Compeer is proud to continue our strong commitment to our clients, the rural communities where they live, and to agriculture. We're here to help meet the financial needs of rural America. And we'll navigate through this together. You've heard the saying, if it looks like bacon and it tastes like sausage, it's probably Johnsonville sausage strips. Oh, you never heard that? Well, sausage strips are pretty new. They're strips of sausage in amazing flavors like maple and chorizo. You can find this meaty miracle by the bacon, even though it's sausage. Whoa.